Hello fellow sim drivers, I'm back. I wanted to make a quick video to help you guys out that were having issues with your liveries after the patch that came out today for F1 2020 patch 1.07 that addressed a lot of bugs in the game. A lot of people were reporting on the other videos, hey, my liveries have gone back to the default liveries or they're super blurry or just having all kinds of problems or this, this isn't working. And uh, it's been confirmed by members of the community that indeed the Codemasters went and overwrote a lot of uh, those files. Now the reason they overwrote these files isn't anything nefarious. It's not like they don't want us to use our custom liveries or, or mods. It's just that a lot of times when a new patch comes out, it has to verify the integrity of the previous files. And a lot of times when you make changes to any file, especially textures, things change like the size of the file, or uh, things that will cause it to fail an integrity check. So it just overwrites those files to ensure that the game will work properly after it is patched. Now, the way to fix this is very, very easy, and I'm gonna show you how. Now, if you open the game, and for instance, go to your characters, you'll get something like this. So this was a, uh, this is a race suit that I had modded for my team. And as you see, it's gone back to the original race suit with all kinds of weird stuff going on with it. Um, it it's just all messed up. Oh, that's a, that's a pretty kind of cool looking weird digital uh, livery. Um, we can see here that that one's messed up as well. So is that one has a blurry texture. And the reason is because the mip maps that all of these share have been overwritten with the original mip maps. Uh, any mip maps that are shared between ERP files are gonna default to this low resolution texture here. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So the first thing you wanna do is open Ego ERP Archiver. The link to that is in the description. And you're just really gonna have to know what it is that you modded. Uh, if you did not take note of that, then you might be in for a little bit of work. Um, but depending on, you know, if you've really just only done mods for my team, it's not really that much work. For me, it was just the race suits and two car liveries, and that's not going to take very long uh, to fix. This is also a good time to bring up backups. I mentioned this in my previous videos. If you are not creating backups, then you really, really should. It makes things a whole lot easier if you can just go restore a backed up file. So this, since all of the original files are now back in the game, this might be a good time to back up any original ERP files or MIT maps that you might want to bring back in. As it's been noted in the community, you cannot play online with any modded files. So if you want to play, so if you want to play online and you've got modded files, you can always just re-import the backed up original files when you want to play online and then re-import your modded ones whenever you want to play offline with your custom liveries. So in Ego ERP Archiver, you're going to go, so let's uh, let's look at our race suits first. Uh, race suits are here under F1 2020, 2020 Asset Groups, Character Package, Team Livery, FOM1. This is the 70th anniversary race suit. And if I open that and look at the livery for the suit, we see that it's been replaced with this weird looking kind of texture here. This is actually a messed up version of uh, my custom race suit. I can tell because there's the Mercedes badge and the Brabus badge here. Uh, we also see here that it's, it actually kept the, the normal map that I replaced, um, but it, it went ahead and put that specular map for the original suit there, which is why it looked um, so wonky because it was trying to apply the specular map for the 70th edition suit, and then it had um, this weird texture over it. So really to fix this, all I've got to do is I've got to re-import my modded textures. So I keep a F1 2020 modding folder in my documents that has everything. Here are my race suits. Overwrite the mitmaps. 
and there it is. There's my custom race suit. It's back there. The normal map, uh, I can keep that. If you watched the other tutorial that showed how to create race suits, uh, you would know that you would need a normal map from one of the other race suits to overlay yours, depending on which one that you were replacing. Typically, you wouldn't want to use a normal map from one of the special race suits. You would just want to use one of the ones from the common race suits because that normal map is fairly plain. It just has the wrinkles. So we're going to keep that. And then um, for the specular map, I don't need that. I'm going to blank that out. So, so I actually have a blank uh, texture that I can import. I just call it blank. And there we go. So we have the diffuse map for my suit. We have the normal map and then we have the blanked out specular map. Once I have that, I then save under that EOP FLM01, hit replace. Now with the race suits, unfortunately you have to do that for gloves and helmet as well. As you see, there it's got the replaced um, texture so you've got to do that for all three of those even though it's the race suits you still have to go under gloves ERP and helmet ERP and re-import those textures oh, also there's one thing actually uh, that I forgot now under this particular livery for the race suit um, there's actually another file for the logos here. Now you can't see, but this is the logos that get overlaid on top of that livery. This is where they are. So I need to import uh, my blank texture for those as well. So essentially all you're doing is just re-importing all of the textures that you've already created and once you open the game you go to your characters and there is my modded race suit back into the game so really all you're doing like i said is re-importing all of the textures back into the correct locations and they will work the same as they did before this is for also for so for all of your car liveries, your race suits, your helmets, gloves, everything, all you got to do is just re-import those textures into Ego ERP Archiver and you're good to go. A little bit of work. I know it sucks, but uh, that's how it is with the modding game. Whenever Codemasters makes an update, you can maybe expect to have to do this again. It really just depends on the nature of the update and what they decide uh, to overwrite. So. So that'll do it. Hopefully this helps you guys out so you can get back to modding and enjoying the game. Thanks for all your like, love, and support. If this video helped you, go ahead and click like and subscribe so I can bring you more of the sim racing content that you desire. You guys take care.